various learning theories are used by advertisers to influence consumer behaviour. This includes the use of classical conditioning, operant conditioning and social learning theory. Classical conditioning is the idea that we learn through association. It's when we associate an unconditioned stimulus with a neutral stimulus. So in the context of consumer behaviour, advertisers use stimuli and adverts to associate certain unconditioned emotional responses with their brand. An unconditioned stimulus is a stimulus that causes an automatic response with no learning having happened. For example, in adverts, this may be stimuli that make us feel happy, sad, nostalgic, or a range of other emotions. This response is called an unconditioned response. A neutral stimulus is a stimulus that has no specific natural response. In advertising, this is the brand or product that they're trying to sell us. When this neutral stimulus is repeatedly paired with an unconditioned stimulus, we form an association between them essentially causing us to associate the brand or product with the emotional response caused by the stimuli in the advert. Once the association has formed, we are compelled to buy the brand to receive the same emotional response. So if an advert associates a particular brand with feelings of nostalgia, we are compelled to buy the brand to receive the same feeling of nostalgia. In this example, we can now call the brand or product a conditioned stimulus and the emotion we associate with it a conditioned response. Brands also use operant conditioning to influence consumers in many ways. Operant conditioning is the idea we learn through consequence. If a behaviour is followed by a reinforcement, we're more likely to repeat it. And if a behaviour is followed by punishment, we're less likely to repeat it. Reinforcement is the most common strategy in advertising and marketing, as brands want to encourage consumers to repeat their behaviour, therefore buying more products. One way that they do this is via rewards. For example, if a brand has a loyalty scheme. The rewards that they gain through these schemes act as positive reinforcement and therefore encourage the behaviour of buying products to be repeated to get the reward, such as buying five coffees and getting the sixth free. The free coffee increases the likelihood that the consumer will buy more coffee to achieve the reward. With the increase in social media marketing, the opportunities for operant conditioning have also increased. For example, if a person buys a product and shares an image of it, the likes, shares and follows that they receive act as positive reinforcement, therefore encourages repetition of this behaviour. A lot of brands are very active on social media and actively engage with consumers in this way due to the power of operant conditioning. Finally, advertisers use social learning theory as a strategy to influence customers. This is the idea that we learn through observation and imitation. Therefore, advertisers model behaviour that they want consumers to imitate, such as buying a certain brand. To make this most effective and therefore make imitation more likely, advertisers choose their models carefully. Imitation is more likely when the observer identifies with or perceives themselves as similar to the model. So advertisers often use people who are similar to their target market, such as in age or gender. They often use everyday people to make imitation more likely as the consumers can relate to the person they're observing. Imitation is also more likely when a person admires or looks up to the model, so advertisers will often use celebrities to cause this effect. For example, we're more likely to buy a perfume or aftershave from someone we look up to or admire than an everyday person. There are a range of studies that support the impact of various learning theories on consumer behaviour. However, a weakness of this approach is that studies often take place in controlled conditions, whereas the environment in which people are influenced by advertising is much more complex.